As affordable housing continues to be an issue across West Michigan, tonight we're learning more about a project that Kent County leaders say will be transformational. The Kent County Board of Commissioners is dedicating $17.5 million in funding from the American Rescue Plan to create a revolving loan fund. News 8's Byron Tollison spoke with those behind this project about how it'll make a difference. Brian, county leaders say there has been a growing acceptance of how widespread the problem of affordable housing is and the need to do something about it. One of the game changers over time has been that all of us know somebody, family, friends, uh, co-workers that are struggling in finding housing. Affordable housing remains a problem in Kent County and those on the front lines say it's only getting worse. And I've talked to people who have retired from city government and they're not able to live in the communities that they were um, serving in because they can't afford to live there. But Kent County commissioners believe a new plan will be a game changer. The board is dedicating $17.5 million in ARPA funding to create what's called a revolving loan fund. The county would hire a community development financial institution, which would give out no interest or low interest loans to new affordable housing projects in the area. It's estimated that that could maybe address uh, approaching 17, 17.5 percent of the need. Uh, but we're hoping to light a fire and to create the kind of vehicle that other organizations can also invest in and really take a big bite out of the affordable housing problem in Kent County. But commissioners say the $17.5 million could skyrocket. The county wants foundations, philanthropists, and companies to match it. After that, the financial institution could triple that amount, creating a $151 million total investment in affordable housing. So the Kent County Board is really stepping up at this moment in history and saying this is important. This is important for the quality of life in our county. This is important for the employers in our county, for jobs, for economic growth. And so uh, we expect this uh, will have indeed a transformational impact. It is still very early in a long fight to fix the issue. Eureka People, the president of Housing Kent, says the plan is a step in the right direction, but much more needs to be done. I personally think that the first thing to do is not necessary to create a new project, but the first thing to do is really to find out which projects we're already doing in the community effectively, and then trying to find a way to scale those projects across, across Kent County to have more um, impact. People says we need to look big picture because every community in Kent County has different needs. So some areas may need more senior living, um, some areas may need more affordable housing, other areas may need other types of amenities or um, additions to their neighborhoods as it relates to housing. And so there's not necessarily a one size fits all solution, but rather we have to have a, a more comprehensive view. County leaders hope to get the program underway next year. The president of ICCF Community Homes in Kent County says they are very supportive of the move and they're ready to get started on bringing more affordable housing to the area.